Hey there everyone. I've come here to the edge of Maricopa County in Arizona in search of a former member of the Manson family. And I think I've found him, I think. Let me first give a shout out to my good friend, Dan Hale, who led me here just as he led me to the truth last year about this individual. Cowboy Bill, Bill Vance, William Rex Cole, Billy Van Sicky, Dwayne Schwarm, David Lee Hammock. Well, it turns out his real name was William Van Sickle. And while yes, that name did appear among his aliases in various publications, and even cited in Ad Saunders' original version of the family, other names were used there as well. And therefore nobody knew for sure exactly what his true name was. So thank you to Dan Hale for finding the newspaper clipping of Bill's recapture after his September 1958 escape from Brushy Mountain State Prison in Tennessee and leading me down the uh, genealogical journey that eventually flushed out some of Bill's early life history. Now, based on information that Dan found on Bill, I find myself here. I'm at White Tanks Cemetery in Litchfield Park, Arizona. It's basically Potter's Field for Maricopa near Phoenix. From what we have found, it appears that Bill Van Sickle died on February 14th, 2001, Valentine's Day, 21 and a half years ago. If Bill wound up here, it's because nobody else would pay for his burial. It was left to the county to dispose of his mortal remains. He would have been cremated and placed here with only a simple marker. What I find here today isn't the original marker. This is a new replacement. So how did Bill die in 2001? What brought him to central Arizona? How did he meet his fate? We don't yet know the answers to that. Arizona limits who has access to death records and thus neither Dan nor I so far have found any articles uh, in the Phoenix area newspapers to indicate how 67 year old Bill Van Sickle, Cowboy Bill came to his untimely end. We'll keep searching and would love your assistance with this minor mystery. We know now who he was and where he came from. We know his early history, including his many youth and adult incarcerations. We know his family story. We know about his connection to Spawn Ranch and the Manson family. We know what happened to him immediately after the murders and arrests. And we know that likely Bill participated in at least one of those murders. And now we know where he's laid to rest if not the details of how he got here. Someday though, we'll know that too. Somebody has come around. Somebody has come around this cemetery and placed stones upon several of the headstones. Some of them have been painted. This one here. Some of them say the word hope or peace upon them. And here he is. Bill Van Sickle, born April 17th, 1933. Died in 2001 at the age of 67, leaving no doubt more mysteries behind. In keeping with tradition, I'm gonna lay a stone here on this simple marker. Who knows if he had a heart?